let's, let's get to national elections. We have a debate coming up Thursday. What are you predicting? Well, it's very appropriate that here locally, Del Mar is in season because it is a horse race. I mean, anybody can win. And again, to use the phrase, away they go. Thursday really is the real start of it. Trump is still in the lead, though. The top 10 who are, you know, listing highest in the polls will debate this Thursday. Trump, a lot of people, eyes on him. Substantial lead. Substantial lead. Yes. Out of 17 candidates, anybody would be, love to be in first place. He has quite a few points over him, and it doesn't look like that's going to uh, go away, etc. Also, as far as the debate, keep in mind, a lot of people are criticizing that it is only the top 10. They've made a change, and they're going to have a pre-debate with the other ones a little bit prior to that, okay. but on the same day. You know, does Trump really stand a chance? Okay, he's a, maybe the front runner in the campaign right now for the GOPs, but does he really stand a chance to become the next president? Absolutely. Why uh, do you say that? A lot of people forget, and sometimes it's unfair to compare people and to use the cliche, you know, if you don't learn from history, in 92, Ross Perot, most historians and political consultants agree that he would have won, gone all the way to the White House if he hadn't have dropped out the first time. When he did drop out and come back, he couldn't pick up that momentum. He still got 20% of the vote, and that was enough to change history. Can you imagine if we never would have had a Bill Clinton as president? Because the votes would have gone to George Bush, and he would have won a second term. So Donald Trump, at a minimum, is going to affect history. And speaking of the Clintons, we have a possible run, another runner maybe throwing their names, uh, but, uh, Joe Biden. What do you think about that? Do I don't think, think it's possible? a surprise. I always yeah. thought he was running, quite honestly, for several reasons. But the latest, as you're reporting today, the fact that his dying son yeah. said to him, to, to paraphrase Tip O'Neill, all politics is local, you're not going to mm -hmm. say no to your dying son. So yeah. I think he's in it. So some other serious names, Bush, Walker, Rubio, Paul, Huckabee. We've got some others who are obviously at the top of that list. But, um, yeah, we, we shall see Thursday. The biggest difference I've seen in the last 48 hours is it looks now that John Kasich of Ohio yes. and Christie, are, well, they're going to be in the top 10. The last mm -hmm. compila They're going to do this by compilation of polls. And the one I saw this morning was just 48 hours old, showed those two in it. Uh, the one that surprises me, unfortunately, is Carly Fiorina is not going to be in the top 10. How do you think this GOP debate will pan out? How do you think it'll... All the campaigns, including Trump, are looking at strategy right now. Does everybody pick on Trump? Does he, you know, zing back? Does he try to remain his composure? He actually put out a tweet that says, I'm going to behave myself and be nice. So we'll, we'll, see, that. we'll see if he sticks to his word. Quick yeah, final we'll thought see. on Hillary. How she, 141 million they made. I mean, there's emails and there's a lot in the news with Hillary right now. A, a lot, a lot <laughs> in the news. Again, I hate to be devil's advocate, but again, I like history. So I remind people that about this time in 2007, people hadn't heard of Barack Obama. And they said the same thing they're saying now. She has a nomination. She'll probably win. And we know what happened in history. So it still is very, very early. All right. John Davian, yeah. thank you for being with us. We'll Great. see a lot more of Good you. Good to see you both.